Shigella is a gram-negative rod-shaped bacterium that causes gastroenteritis. It leads to watery diarrhea and then bloody diarrhea. It can grow green colonies on hecto and agar. It's indole positive and it's different from salmonella in that salmonella grows black. Now, Shigella is immodal. It's non-lactose. It's non-H2S. But it has endotoxin, which is LPS, that leads to inflammation. Now, it's also a type 3 secretion. It's also acid stable, so it means that it needs fewer organisms to cause the infection itself. Shigella induces M cells and pear patches to phagocytose them as they escape from the phagolysosome prior to destruction. And then it will use the host cell's actin cytoskeleton to create a tail it can use to propel itself from one cell to the other. It's facultative intracellular and it damages tissue, release cytokines, inflame the tissue, causing bloody diarrhea. Now there's Shigella dysenteria, where it leads to hemolytic uremic syndrome in younger children that is under the age of 10. There's progerminal diarrhea, following with acute renal failure, which is pretty bad, it forms schistocytes. Now, this Shiga toxin can bind to the 60S unit of ribosomes and inhibit translation. And I, and I said this before, but it's type 3 secretion system is used to release microenzymes. And the treatment option for this is macrolides and fluoroquinolones.